Hello, welcome to a new video for Cyberpunk 2077. This game has been out for quite a while. They've been doing some upgrades and some new graphics. And they have been rumored to having a new DLC coming out later on in 2023, possibly in the fall. But they haven't committed to anything yet. I've been playing this game since it came out and it certainly has improved. And as such that I've played it for so long, I have a very powerful character, and I have pretty much done all the side gigs. But I decided to let you travel along and see what this world looks like as I go buy a new apartment in Japantown. So as the map shows us, it's a pretty extensive world. I've cleaned up the map for showing just certain um, highlighted areas. As I clean it up even further. There we go. So as you can see. We are down here. In this little area off to the side. And that has some vendors as well as an apartment. And we want to head. Up this way into Japantown. And go ahead and buy this apartment here. I have some other apartments around the area that were nice places to stop and rest. Some of them you get for free as part of the stories that you complete and the gigs that you complete. So I thought you might enjoy just traveling around. We'll see if we can find some battles to get into. I'm not guaranteeing that. I came out here riding my motorcycle and I looked around and realized my motorcycle disappeared so we can just go ahead and call it back again. That's contacts. Well, we're having fun trying to figure out this has been a while since I've played this game. That's my scan. That's my look. I remember this area. This is a tunnel. There's a lot of stuff inside of this tunnel, by the way. So we have someone that I killed a long time ago still laying down here dead. This don't have a lot of gear in it. There's an old blown up motorcycle. So maybe we'll drive our motorcycle down there and see what we can find as well. Their vehicle should be getting here now. There it is. That's our motorcycle. motorcycles it gives you the best view and the best control in the early parts of the game the cars are very hard to drive and upgrades to make it much easier i don't know what's going on this time, but i think this led, led me one time to a old hideout of mine or maybe not just to the other side of the world that was fun going to travel across all of this. Let's go ahead and bring up a real car so we can head towards the rest of the world. Let's get all this one first. Let's see what we can call up here. I had a nice off-road car in here somewhere. Oh, let's go with the coyote. There it is. Yeah. 
So you can toggle between views depending on how you want to drive. You can be near, far, or inside of. Let's be inside this guy for a while. See how the driving goes. That's the off road vehicle. best driving, but we did find someone to come fight with, it looks like. They have a wide variety of weapons available to you in this game. They have sniper rifle, pipe. Not sure where all this came from. Let's go ahead and look at our inventory. How do we get all these weapons? Very strange. So let's go ahead and arm our primary salt rifle. This is a smart salt rifle. Smart assault rifle. It will do auto aiming for us. We also would like to have our katana, which is a nice bladed weapon. It's our sniper rifle. Don't really need it for what we're doing, but wait. And there's the choices of weapons. We also have the ability of shooting a hand-mounted weapon. Pretty useful. Don't cyber attacks. Which is fun because you can hacks, ask people to, to kill themselves, go blind, a number of other things. Yeah. Ah. 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 Still not fair with weapons I have. And they seem to be gone. So that shows you uh, two of the different attacks. And what you do is everywhere else, you scavenge up the leftover pieces. You can sell those around for currency. You can use them to upgrade and to arm yourself with as at the beginning parts of the game. warns me that I'm back to be able to use my cybernetics pick up products that can be turned into components we can say, scan see if we missed anything I'm trying to see if there's any weapons around I don't know if there's any mission around here I don't see any ammunition floating around nothing's highlighted as ammunition 
we can also go ahead and hack into the electronics that are out there. For, for example, that floodlight, we can turn it on and off if we want to. Oh, looks like our ammo right there. Pick up some ammo. So we want to head out to the street. See if we can find a road over here. There's a road. Hello, people. We're trying to find our apartment. Know where it is? It's 2.8 2 kilometers in that direction. So let's go ahead and go back to my favorite motorcycle. All these can be acquired either through purchase or through some of the gigs that you undertake. Myself do like the motorcycle. It's the easiest to drive, gives you the best vision. You want to turn around here. And let's head to Japan Town. So we can just run into any events along the way. The early part of the game, the other part of the auto. Policeman, we won't bother you. They'll chase you, by the way, if you start doing that. One policeman, you're allowed to fight them if you need to, but then this will all in reinforcements for all the police around. So, we're going to do so accidentally. We're in the game now. I have to find you in that. Very limited. Let's see back there. We can hack into it. Looks like these are not far away. Let's just go ahead and hack into these. Let's destroy them. Okay, come back. that for usable parts. Where'd the other one go? So that's where you take care of drones that are flying around the area. We can steal this guy's car if we really want to. But we really don't want his car. We would rather go on a motorcycle. in here it's 
actually fun to uh, chase them down at traffic lights. Oh, we have no balance here. security guards. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Should not have attacked and got a hold of the police. So we flatlined, we're out. Time to get into something new. It was fun fighting them. Just was a mistake to start on the police because you saw how many policemen came. Let's continue onwards. Said, I don't have to run head on any of the things. I pour a car gun, my bike gun. Hello, bike. There it is. We have a fast travel point here so that we can head around town without driving if we wanted to. We can steal this guy's car. What we want to do is go in here and buy our apartment. So we've now bought ourselves an apartment. Go find it. See if anything else is around here. You need to go up. Elevators? Cool. 
apartments, floor five. They just purchased it, access granted, it knows who we are. And so here is our new apartment. Let's see what all is in this apartment. Turn some incense on to make it homey. Food. There's our computer. We can check out messages. Take a shower. Cool feature. Look at mirrors. What you look like? This is sort of what I put on. Smile, you're on camera. Yay! Anyway, so that's what my character looks like. Some more stuff we can use. We can sit in our chair and rest a while. There's our chair to sit on. This should be our stash. That's the way out. Stash back here. Oh, look out the windows. How nice. Game we can play. Here's our wardrobe. So we decide to change clothes. Take a nap. Yeah, we don't have our stash here. Let's run back to our main apartment then, I guess. Play our guitar. Sit on our desk chair. Very small little apartment, but it gives us a place to uh Wait out the night. So anyway, I hope you like this quick walkthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. It's a fun game to play. It has a lot of RPG going on, which is you build up your character, you have to build weapons, find weapons, enhance weapons, etc. So it takes a while choosing the right skills, getting the right skills. And then you also have your whole cyberware part, which is where you saw me doing hacking and other things. It gives you your strength and your speed. Uh, and so it is takes a while to get a character built up. And so right now I'm just waiting for the new DLC whenever it decides to come out. So there's a little bit of a walk around of this. Let me know if you want to see more of this game. And I can show you some other pieces while we wait for it to be released. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.